Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers and as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking all about Sephora today. I'm going to give you guys some of my favorite product recommendations for this upcoming sale. And I'm going to break them up into different sections so that you guys know what category we're in. So let's get started. Double text got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm selling double text. So the first category that we're going to talk about is going to be skincare. And skincare is a favorite of mine because I've always struggled with acne. So the first product we're going to talk about from Sephora is going to be the Paula's Choice BHA 2% Exfoliant. Um, this is a liquid exfoliant and I've always felt like this works wonders for me. The 2% BHA liquid exfoliant is probably one of Paula's Choice's most popular products. The 2% BHA liquid exfoliant really works to unclog your pores. They work to shrink your pores. Um, I like to use it at night. It can, it does say that you can use it twice a day, but I like to focus on it mainly at night and I like to apply mine on a cotton pad and it's just one of those products that has a really good long lasting history. And again, this is probably one of Paula's Choice's most, pop, most popular products. It does contain salicylic acid. So honestly, I would work myself into the product if you have never tried it before. Don't jump off the bat doing the twice a day. I would definitely just try to incorporate it into your skin skincare routine a couple times a week at first and then try to work it into your skin routine a little bit more frequently as your skin gets accustomed to the product and if you are going to use this in the daytime you always are to follow up with the sunscreen because of that salicylic acid you want to make sure that you have a sunscreen on your skin if you're going to use this in the morning so this this is a a great addition to my skincare routine so the next product that we're going to talk about is going to be the Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer it has gotten a bit of a rebrand as of lately um, it's it used to look a little bit different than this if you remember the bottle I was just introduced to this product this year and when I tell you guys when they say moisturizing that's what they mean this product um, is great it's like I said it's a toner and a moisturizer so that combination has always been chef's kiss for me I use this every morning um, and sometimes at night um, I've been trying to save it a little bit because you can kind of run through these bottles pretty quickly this is my second one I will say it's super super hydrating for the skin there has been a couple times where I did my my morning cleansing I put the Laneige toner on my skin and completely forgot the rest of my skincare how did I do that I just ended up getting tied into other things like maybe I'm letting it dry or something and I start to go get dressed or whatever and there's been times where I left out of the house with this being the last thing on my skin but that's not a good thing, but what it is, is it's showing me that it's so moisturizing. I didn't even feel that my skin was dry. Um, but this is such a great product. I will continue to repurchase this and keep it as a part of my skincare routine. Um, I will say one thing about the bottle. Um, again, this was a rebrand. This little top part, it comes a loose pretty often. Like, I think they need to work on this little this part over again because it's always loose y'all and it kind of like leaks out a little bit again this is a newer bottle so I find myself always having to tighten this once I take the top off and I kind of hate that because you get a little bit messy like I they need to fix this little top part because it does unscrew like on its own but I will say it's as for the product itself I don't have any complaints I will keep this in my rotation forever so the next product that I'm super happy to rave about is going to be the super goop unseen sunscreen um, I do have a couple complaints, but we'll get to those later. The first thing that I want to say is that I I love this product. When I say unseen, they really mean unseen when they put this in the product. It's literally invisible if you have not tried a sunscreen. Um, this is a great one to start with some, from Sephora. It is a SPF 40 water sweat resistant. It has the whole nine. But my complaints come in because it's so expensive for this little bottle. Y'all see how little this bottle is? So expensive. This is like, this is $38. This is $38 and this is a 1.7 ounce like um, again I understand it I have never had a sunscreen that's invisible like this it like soaks into the skin I love this stuff but again I use it sparingly like sparingly I do have a couple other sunscreens that I rotate between but this is a great a great sunscreen um it's just a little pricey now if you're willing to spend a little bit some something, something then perfect but they do have a smaller version um, that is I believe it's $18 so if you want to start with something small I completely understand but it's gonna go quickly it's gonna go very quickly especially considering the amount of considering the amount of sunscreen that you're supposed to use on the daily it's gonna go very quickly but it's a great product to start with if you've never tried a sunscreen we all need sunscreen, no matter what your complexion, your skin tone is. Um, so just keep that in mind as you continue on trying to find products to fit into your skin routine. Definitely have an SPF. 
So the next product is going to be from The Ordinary. And this is a glycolic acid 7% toning solution. Um, as you guys can see, or I do not have much of it left. But The Ordinary is, is an amazing brand if you're looking for good skincare on a budget. I say the same thing about, um, I say the same thing about Good Molecules, but The Ordinary Chef's Kiss at Sephora, this is only $13 for this pretty decent sized bottle. How many ounces is this? This is eight fluid ounces and it works beautifully. I use this pretty much at night for the most part. Um, again, it's a toning solution, so I like to use it after my, um, after I wash my face at night again. And I have no complaints about this product. Another thing that I've used this for, if you guys have seen this product on TikTok, they probably talked about different ways that you can incorporate it into on your body, diff different ways that you can use it. I have used this under my underarms and it worked. Um, I had a little bit of a breakout. I switched deodorants and I had a breakout under my underarms and I had some discoloration and I used this probably every other night and my underarms are back to normal now. So I'm very proud of this product. I will continue to use this in my skincare routine, whether it's for my face, whether it's for my underarms. Um, I have also heard that this product does help with smell, like odor um, under your underarms. If that's something that you struggle with, I definitely recommend it. Again, it's only $13. And Sephora got you, you know, um, The Ordinary, and they do have a great line in general. So I like The Ordinary. But I do want to add in that this product is good for like evening your, your skin's texture. I have some texture on my cheeks. That I've, that I've been working to kind of smooth out and work through. Um, but this is what the product aims. That's what the product aims to do. So I've decided that I only wanted to do five products per each category. Because I don't want to drown you guys in products. So the last product in my skincare recommendations for Sephora is going to be Hyper Skin. I love Hyper Skin. Um, they have such a great line of products in general. But this one I'm going to be highlighting today is going to be the Gel Cleanser. This one, um, I love using this. This is an active cleanser, so it has mandelic acid in it. And mandelic acid helps to, like, even your texture. It's good for acne. It's a gentle exfoliator. And it's also, um, it's also good for just, like, evening out your pores. It's good for wrinkles, dull skin. Like, I love this product. I use this as a part of a double cleanse. So I use this along with, like, a foaming cleanser or just something to help it to give it some balance. Um, I love the gel consistency of this. It does lather pretty well. I love a product that, I love a face wash that lathers good. Like I love when you can get a good sud. So this product, I, I just love it in general. And I use this um, throughout my week. I wouldn't say every day, but I use this product maybe um, that's three times a week. I would say it three times a week. So I love Hyper Skin. Again, they have, I caught that. Again, they have such a great line. Um, they also have like a, um, they also have a vitamin C like um, serum and they have a face mask as well along with their line and they're available at Sephora. And this is black owned too, that I, if I didn't mention, black owned skincare. So we love Hyper Skin over here. The next category that we're going to jump into is going to be makeup. Again, only five suggestions. So the first one, we're starting off strong with NARS. This is NARS Insatiable Liquid Blush. And it's just beautiful. Like, when I say beautiful, it's just really, really pretty berry color. Um, I love the consistency of the blush because, again, it's a liquid. So it's it blends out beautifully. I use my fingers to blend it out. You don't even need a brush. Um, and, again, it's like this pretty berry color. It's perfect for darker a darker complexion. And I use this every time I do my makeup every single time I know sometimes people do a powder blush and they do a liquid but this is always pretty much always my liquid blush this is the one that I pull for so I love NARS in general um again this is called insatiable chef's kiss the next makeup product that I want to share with you guys is going to be Danessa Myrick's color fix now this is the one in Venus so it's a very pretty pink color I actually have it on my lids right now I'm a little far from the camera so you guys might not be picking up on it but this is the color fix and it's it's gorgeous all of her color fixes are like this liquid consistency and the color range is impeccable okay this one is more of a glitter vibe but they do have um, like blacks brown shades and one thing about Vanessa Myricks um, that she takes pride in is just having one product being able to use for multiple different things so you can use this color fix on your eyes your lips or your cheeks 
and um, it's just an extremely versatile product it's pretty again this is in Venus but they have such a, a variety of colors um, I do want to go back and get the black one just because I think it'll be really pretty for like a black liquid liner like if you want to try and smoke out your liner I've seen her do that before gorgeous I love the color fix the color fix products I mean Danessa Myricks is great in general but the color fix is just pretty much what I'm going to be highlighted for right now because this color is it's gorgeous I'm pretty sure you guys seen it already but gorgeous and one thing I will also add is that a little goes a long way I use a very small dot on the back of my hand and it went a long way so you really don't need a lot of product I also apply this product with my finger you don't need a brush you can literally just work it into the skin in any way that you want you can use it on your cheeks like imagine this as a a highlighter moment or even something for Halloween like if you have a look that you're going for this is such a beautiful, beautiful color to play in. So, I really love Danessa Myra. My next makeup fave is from Say Beauty. And I use this faithfully. Um, this is another versatile product for me. This is in deep bronze. It's called a Sun Melt. And it's considered a natural creamy bronzer. Um, but another way that I use this product is also on my eyelids. If I just want something very chill, very natural, if I'm looking for like a kind of a, a natural eye look, I literally just rub this on my finger and just tap it onto my eyelid and it looks really pretty. It's just like a pretty brown color um, and it's just such a, a creamy like consistency. It's it's so pretty. I love this and I've had it for a while now. So that's one beautiful thing about certain products is that you can have this for a very long time. Like I didn't even make a dent in this product at all. So we're going to keep this in rotation for like another year. Or whenever it expires, I suppose. Oh yeah, it's it's good for 12 months. So this is going to be... I'm not going to need another one of these. And I think that's that's wonderful. <laughs> you can't have a Sephora suggestions list without including Sephora. Because Sephora does have some really good products. I do want to talk about the uh, concealer. Their Best Skin Ever Concealer. And I have this in 55N. The consistency of it is pretty like liquidy. sorry about that but the consistency is pretty liquidy it's very um it's not thick at all and I really like that because it, it just rubs on so incredibly smoothly the dough tip is a pretty good size and I really appreciate that I got the shade a little bit closer to my skin complexion um and it also states on the bottle that it's a natural finish and I agree with that especially if you lean more into a color that's closer to your complexion um, I really like this. This is a part of my makeup routine. I do switch between this one and the NARS, but this is a great one again because I, I love the consistency of it. It blends out beautifully um, and I like it. They also consider this to be full coverage, so if you are a full coverage makeup girly, this is perfect for you. And you can just use a little bit if you don't want too, too much coverage. Um, which is more like my style but again I really love it and I would get this in another shade um, for sure I would go lighter if I wanted to use this um, if I wanted to give myself a brighter under eye I would definitely go lighter in this particular concealer so I love Sephora Sephora also has some good products so cheers to them and the last product that I want to talk about in the makeup category is actually a mascara from Clinique and this is one that I was actually gifted pretty recently, but I, I haven't put this thing down. Um, but one thing I want to say um, about this, I love the applicator. I love the shape of it because I, I really feel like it does well with getting into my inner corner. And it does well with my bottom lashes because it's not too big, it's not too wide. I do love that it has like a bit of a point on the applicator. Um, it kind of looks like a Christmas tree, like it has that Christmas tree shape. Um, but this is a full volume mascara. I have it on right now. Chef's Kiss. This is one of those mascaras that you just kind of keep in rotation. This is one that I would buy again. Um, and some mascaras just stick out a little bit more than others. My eyelashes don't clump with this one. So I really did like the Clinique and I was really happy with this again as a gift. But I would get it for myself for sure. This does retail for $27 but I just looked up some other mascara prices and it's pretty much around the same ballpark. The um, Lancome mascara I believe is $30. The NARS mascara is $25. So mascaras tend to be around this price range so it's not, it's kind of like right in the middle from what I've what I've been seeing so I do like it and um, it's at a pretty decent I guess average fair um, price point so the next category that we're jumping into is going to be perfumes um, I can go on and on about my favorite perfumes but we're going to start with Giorgio Armani Sea Passion 
Um, I've been loving this perfume. It's a really, really pretty smell. I do have the notes here. This is considered a floral. I love a floral. This has um, keynotes of rose and like a woody vanilla. So this is very, very pretty. Um, I think that this is one of those year-round fragrances. You know how some fragrances are really good for just the fall or just the summer or the spring? This is a year-round pool for me. And the regular C also smells amazing too. Like Giorgio Armani just does well with the C like line. So this is one that I would definitely recommend. I will also add that this is very feminine. It's very much like yeah I smell good like you you smell me um the website describes this as in, um capturing the essence of passion and love you know the website always makes it sound amazing the description but it does really smell really nice if you guys can go on Sephora and even just give it a little spritz please do so the next fragrance I want to talk about is going to be the Tom Ford Lost Cherry I tried not to be that girl but the Tom Ford <laughs> chef's kiss um this has notes of almond tonka bean and black cherry duh <laughs> um this as you guys can see is a travel size this retails for 80 dollars the travel size but i use this sparingly it smells wonderful like i can't go wrong with the time for lost cherry and it's one that i would definitely keep in my collection um they do this is defined as a genderless perfume um it's kind of like a warm and spicy scent it's gorgeous like the cherry really took me for a shock and I love it so much. It's kind of like dark but sweet at the same time. Y'all, I love this. Now, the bo the regular bottle, I think it's like 500 something dollars. So again, if you can just get the little $80 one, perfect. Because you're probably not going to pull for it that often. It's just one of those things that... It's just one of those scents that you pull for if you're doing something special, something particular, and you want to smell a little uh-uh. <laughs> you need this one. This is probably my favorite one of the list, but again, it's so expensive. So it's hard to kind of suggest because I wouldn't buy the big, I wouldn't buy the regular bottle myself. So I wouldn't suggest that to you guys, but it smells so good. So good. The next one, Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. I will come, I will have this in my recommendations all the time. If we're talking perfume, this is always going to get mentioned by Morgan because it smells so good. I really need to get the big bottle and stop being cheap. But y'all, I'm literally down to the very, very end of it. I know you guys probably can't see it super dark, but this smells amazing. This is the one ounce, which is $83, um, but it smells so good. This is a warm floral. It has like tonka bean, jasmine, and what else is it? Tuberose. It smells so, so, so pretty. Um, it's one of those fragrances that I've never heard a bad review about. It's one of those fragrances that anytime someone talks about this, it's on the good side of things. You know, some fragrances are just kind of old and played out or, you know, they feel like everyone has it or they don't really smell that good. This is one that is just never going to be on the bad list. It smells amazing. They also have a guy's version of this, which is called like Bad Boy. And I smelled it. It's not too bad, but um, just in case you got a partner. But um, I really do love this. And this is definitely one of those fragrances that you need in your collection year round. This is not something that I pull for at any particular time of the year i will say it's very night timey for the most part like if i'm going out with my girls we give this a little spritz and we're good so i love good girl okay um another one another classic for me is going to be the gucci flora this is gorgeous gardenia smells beautiful um this is a clearly a floral scent it has notes of white gardenia white gardenia brown sugar and pear that's what it is in pear it smells gorgeous this is another fragrance that I keep in my rotation too. I will always repurchase this. Um, I believe this is, yeah, this is a 1.6 ounce, which retails for $133. Um, but it's it's worth every penny, even if you get the smaller one. I do have the smaller one too, <laughs> the travel size. Um, but this smells beautiful, um, and this is always going to be a part of my collection. And the last one, a part of my collection, is going to be the Lancome. I believe it's pronounced Idole. This is the 0.8 fluid ounce so not even one ounce and this retails for I think like 60 something dollars um this smells really nice um I have a couple of the Edol or a couple of the Lancome perfume collection um but this one smells the best in my opinion and this is a floral scent but it's also fresh at the same time so it kind of has like a bit of a mixture um I really do like this one like I said compared to the other ones this is probably my favorite and it has notes of citrus rose jasmine white musk 
and a little bit of vanilla. So that actually makes perfect sense because I do smell the vanilla in here. Um, and the citrus gives it that like fresh vibe. Um, but I really do like this one and I've clearly been using it a bit. So we're going to keep this in the collection, keep this in rotation. Since it does have a fresh vibe, I do pull for this mainly in the daytime more than I do like nighttime. Nighttime fragrances kind of give me like sexy, like a little bit like dark. Um, but again, this is a citrus, floral, fresh floral. So this is mainly a daytime fragrance, but I really do like it. So kicking off my final category, which is in the body category, it's going to be the Leoctane. Um, this is a like milk, like an almond milk moisturizer. It smells wonderful. It definitely does get like an almond sweet scent. Um, it is more on the expensive side. I do see that the oil is very popular, like people use the body oil. Um, but this smells so good. It's kind of like a lightweight um, like consistency. It's not super thick like some of my other favorites on this list. Um, but this is an 8 ounce and this retails for $48. Um, it says on the website that this has a light shimmer. I've never seen a light shimmer in this. So I don't know what they're talking about. But um, I really do love this like almond scent. It's very lightweight. It blends in really easily because of that like lightweightness. Lightweightness, I think I made that up. But um, it's supposed to help like soften and tone the skin. So I really do like this. It's usually like one of those nighttime fragrances that you use before bed. You know, when you smell it all good, fresh out the shower. This is one of those fragrances that this is mainly when I pull for this for this lotion. So if your skin doesn't really like a fragrant lotion, then this one isn't the best for you because again, it's very like almond milky. Um, and it smells really nice, but if your skin don't like it, then this is not a good idea. But um, I really do like this one, and I'm not sure if I will keep this in rotation because it is pretty expensive for a lotion. Um, I just kind of want to try it out. I may try like the oil next, or maybe I'll pitch to them and see if they can send me some. We're going to see about that in the, <laughs> at a later date. Um, but I really do like this one just in general. The next one on my list I actually do not have. I actually ran out of it, but I had to bring it up because it's I stand this body lotion it's the kills creme de corpse i always mention this one this one is a much thicker consistency than the one that i just pre that i just the leoctane that i just mentioned the kills creme de corpse will leave you shiny moisturized it's just such a small bottle uh, and it's expensive that's just another thing about it it's just pretty expensive but when i tell you it's so moisturizing i like the smell of it it's kind of like a, a faint smell but um, I really do enjoy just using it like any time of the day. That's one of those fragrances that you can just use as a great way to layer. Um, if you do have like a body oil that's fragrant or if you want to put your perfume on top. The 8.4 ounce is, is $34. And then the 16.9 ounce, which is about double, is $58. So again, it's a very expensive um, lotion is one of those things that I just kind of buy sparingly when I have a little bit of money that I feel like spending on my Sephora credit card you know like times like that but um I really do like the lotion in general Monroe Steel actually put me onto that lotion it's it's wonderful I, I get what the rave is about if your skin is dry or dull it's just gonna revert it like you dry dull wear it's gonna be like one of those things I really do love the, the lotion and I will be purchasing it again during the Sephora sale like for sure it's gonna go right in my cart <laughs> the next body care product that I want to talk about it can kind of fall into regular perfumes but I consider this to be more body because it is a shimmering body oil this retails for $34 and I've had this for years y'all I've had this for years it's literally still full because this is one of those things that you pull for when your skin is out you may do one or two pumps of it so I really do feel like if you are interested in trying to tap into a little bit of Tom Ford this is a great way to start and it smells really nice um, and the shimmer you can see so that's also a plus it not only smells good again but the shimmer you can actually like visibly see it's not one of those like fake shimmery products it's considered to be like a warm and spicy fragrance with bergamot and pistachio as like the notes so it smells really good but again i do consider this to be body because i put this on my body you know this is one of those products you pull out when you want to give a little shimmer a little shine um but this is this like i said i've had it for years so i would definitely add this to my car if i were you the next product that I want to talk about is going to be the Clarins Lip Oils. I actually have two of these. Um, one of them is in Honey, and I think this one is in... Oh, this is Lavender. <laughs> um, I really do like these. These are probably my favorite like lip oils. I know that a lot are kind of trending right now. We have the Dior one that everyone talks about, but if we're talking a little bit cheaper, we're going to go for this one, which I think is a great lip oil to have. I think it's super hydrating for the lips. 
and it smells really good too and that's always a plus since it's a lip oil it's not like sticky it's very like it just glides right on your lips if you um if you just want a little bit of something on your lips for the meantime i think this is a great addition to have it does retail for 29 dollars um which you know it's a lip product technically so it does feel like it, it sounds kind of expensive for a lip product but this is one that i will i won't even run out of this i think i bought this one the honey one like last year i'm halfway through it it, it doesn't it doesn't go that quickly so i think the 29 dollars is like a good bang for your book because again you're gonna have it for some time unless you use it every day all day but <laughs> you're gonna have this for some time so i really do like the clarins um i think that they have a really good lip product here last but not least we have a body oil and this is from we the people and this is like just a regular hydrating body oil i really do like this one um not only does it just look really good like i just love the bottle packaging will really get you it will get me i don't know about y'all but it's gonna get me it doesn't have a, any fragrance it's like they consider it to be a body gloss <clears throat> excuse me which is pretty much the same as a body oil in my opinion this does retail for 65 dollars but it is super you're gonna have it for a long time and i think that's what i think about when i think about certain prices how long am I going to be able to use this product for? Is it going to go like this? When am I going to have to rebuy this, repurchase this product? Not for a while. So if you spend the $65 now, it's like, when will you have to spend the $65 again? I'm not sure. Um, because I've had this for some time now. Um, I do see that they do have one that is fragranced. Um, it's called like Orange Blossom or something like that. But this one is a fragrance-free one. So if you're not, you're not into the fragrant things on your skin, your skin is very sensitive, then this was a good move. This is also black-owned. So that's always a chef kiss. I'm always going to mention that it's black owned because I think that that's important for us. Um, so I love We The People. I did have another product from them as well, but I actually gifted it away. Um, but I love We The People in general. Um, and this is a really good body gloss, body oil, if that's what you're into. Great for layering. Again, this is fragrance free so that you can layer things. You can use a fragrant lotion and then add the body oil on top and you're going to glow. Like, glow. Um, and even though it's not summertime anymore, it doesn't mean you don't need a little glow. You know, your chest may be out or, you know, say your shoulders may be out or whatever the case may be. So I do keep body oils in rotation throughout the year. So I do love this one too. And that's going to conclude my Sephora suggestions list. Um, I hope that you guys take something from this. If you have any of the products already and you like them, please let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next. Bye. Getting a I'm gonna just uh, 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 uh. beautiful, beautiful mornings mainly. What am I talking about? Uh, what's choice? I keep saying that. Pretty like liquidy. Who makes labels this small? In large pores. Um and wait no. Two percent. The two per the two percent. So let's go to the ordinary. Most most popular. make a product that I want to show you the next skin this is why I be taking forever doing sit down video double text got me out of my element I don't want to feel like I'm selling double